do it, and then we're back here at East Coast Studios, and we've got our last guest for today. Um, it's artist Aaron Cooter. Aaron's been a video version of our podcast in the past from Ithaca, and we're glad to have him back. Thank you for coming in. Yeah, no problem. We appreciate you uh, coming in for free time of the day and uh, letting me tell us to the store and uh, make it an enjoyable experience for you to come. Uh, now, last time you and I spoke, you had the quote unquote secret project in DC that we didn't talk about all the time. And uh, of course, that turned into the current issue of Legion Lost. Correct. Which, uh, you know, you, you kind of you know, hinted at it, but we couldn't officially announce it then. Right. Um, how's the uh, reception been on that issue? Um, it's, it's good. Um, you know, anytime that you come into, come onto a book that you have, uh, is, a regular artist on it. Anytime you have somebody come in and do do a filling issue, or these cards like that, it's, it's, there's there's usually mixed reviews, no matter how no matter how good you draw it, you know. Um, uh, so you know, a lot of a lot, there's been a lot of a lot of really good, really really positive feedback. On it. Well, without giving away any spoilers, has that kind of opened some doors for you, perhaps, at DC oh, yeah. for, for yeah. additional work? Yeah, they, they've kicked down doors. And, yeah. Well, that's good to hear. Because, yeah. you, know, you've, you've, you know, I was blown away by, by what I saw when I was there at Edith. In fact, it made me go out and pick up KMZ. Which, uh, uh, yeah, I, I loved the story. I've, I've been telling everybody who will listen that I, I think that story deserves to be either a small budget movie or something is this, is this um, because it, it really did it, you know, kind of resonate very well. The whole, you know, playing the long game to get the revenge for what he did, you know, for what they did to, their, to his family. Right. The thing that I really, really liked about that story was that they because didn't focus on the zombie. Yeah, it was a post-apocalyptic zombie book, but it, it really, that was just like the background, that was, that was, that was the, the, the wallpaper of the story. Exactly. You know, it was just a really solid concept, really yeah. solid story. And that, the artwork yeah. was, again, incredibly beautiful. Nice. You know, nice. it, like I say, as soon as uh, you and I got done talking about it, the first thing I did was go and pick it up. Yeah. And, and I loved it. You know, and, and we're looking forward to always being able to promote further stuff for you. Thanks. We're all about pitching, you know, for the, for the artists and the creators. Um, uh, do you have any other projects for anyone else on the board? You're yeah. talking about, actually, a sequel to Gigi, but you're not involved. Right. Um, um, I'm not involved in it because I'm going to be really good. <laughs> um, but uh, the, uh, the, the thing that I'm working on right now is the Benjamin Spider-Man. Yep. Um, um, I'm not sure when the release date is. I think it's going to be in uh, like August or September ish. Now, are you going to be the new ongoing artist, or are you just doing a couple? Of I'm just doing a couple, couple of issues. Um, Kevin Schnick is the uh, is the writer. It's also his first work in Marvel, but he's 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 part of the team that did Robot Chicken and Mad the Animated Series. So he's he's a Hollywood guy coming into comics, um, and the story is, it's a, it's a fanboy dream come true to draw. Okay. Can you, now, uh, Avenging Spider-Man, as I've read, is always, you know, it's so far since it's been out, kind of seems to be the, the current replacement to uh, Marvel Team where it's basically, you know, yeah, but it's him so, and it's so somebody much else. Cooler. No, it's it is. Marvel oh, don't get me wrong. Yeah, I mean, it is. Like, like, you, nothing wrong with Marvel Team Up, per yeah. se, but it's, 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 it's really like, um, you know, there's this element of, of, of like, like I said, fanboy dream to draw, but it's really like these stories that they're doing on the Vintage Spider-Man are like, just, you just like the things that oh if you you know when you're when you're a kid you're like oh man I'd love to see if like Spider Man was like hanging out with Deadpool or the Hulk or blah blah blah. blah. Well, can you um, you know prefacing that the reason why I say this can you give us any kind of hints on what other characters are teaming up with Spider Man in your issues or is that uh, kind of still in the I'm not really sure, sure. Um, but I, I I I will say I get to draw. Some very very crazy cool stuff. Spider Ham makes makes a guest appearance. You're kidding. Just just you know just in the background. But, Peter yeah. Porker, the amazing Spider Ham. Yes. Peace pop Peter. How's it going, guys? That's <laughs> <laughs> it. Well, uh, anything else you'd like to to talk about as far as your upcoming works or? Um, that's all I'm 
able to talk about at the moment. Uh, see, if we take it, does it to us every time with his spoilers. Uh, well, you know, of course, we'll probably have you on again once the spoilers are, you know, spoiled. Absolutely. And we, looking, looking forward to spoiling the spoilers. <laughs> and again, we love having you on the show. We're looking forward to seeing you again sometime. Thanks for having Everybody me. Everybody here, thank you very much for being here. Yep. Nice to, nice to chat with you again. Thanks. You guys know about the sale events today? All right. Everybody.